CBS News has learned investigators hired by Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos have now turned over their findings to law enforcement. They are investigating how the National Enquirer obtained private photos and messages from Bezos. Last week, the billionaire claimed the Enquirer had explicit message images and was trying to blackmail him. That came weeks after the tabloid revealed Bezos was having an affair with former TV host Lauren Sanchez. Errol Barnett is here with new details on the investigation. Errol, good morning. Good morning. Things are now coming into clearer focus, but this remains a highly contentious issue. A lawyer for the Inquirer's parent company says it is the real victim of Bezos's defamatory claims. But Bezos and his team of investigators say this was all part of an extortion plot. And they are zeroing in on Sanchez's brother as the possible source of the leak, even though he denies such an allegation. They believe political motivation was likely a factor. I'm not going to answer who the source was. It was somebody close to both Bezos and Ms. Sanchez. On Sunday, Elkin Abramowitz, the attorney for the parent company for National Enquirer, stopped short of revealing the source of the leaks. But one source close to Jeff Bezos's private investigators tells CBS News they've conducted multiple interviews with Michael Sanchez, the brother of Bezos's own girlfriend. They say Sanchez, a Trump supporter, discussed the matter with Roger Stone and Carter Page, two of Mr. Trump's staunchest defenders. Contacted by CBS News, a person close to Michael Sanchez dismissed allegations of his involvement as, quote, sloppy leaks and crazy conservative conspiracy theories. If I was conducting the investigation, I'd be starting it with Ms. Sanchez. CBS News law enforcement analyst Paul Violas thinks someone Lauren Sanchez confided in was the likely leaker. The highest probability of risk here of where this leak came from would be Sanchez. And, and whether it was her brother, whether it was a friend, whether it was anybody. In emails released by Bezos last week, Enquirer officials purportedly claimed to have a naked selfie and other lewd images of Bezos. They offered not to publish them if the Amazon CEO dropped his investigation. I hope common sense can prevail, and quickly, one email read. It was part of a legitimate negotiation. Each side had something that they wanted. Abramowitz says the tabloid wanted Bezos to stop falsely claiming its coverage of his affair was politically motivated. He also denied the explicit photos were part of a blackmail plot. Bezos and the newspaper he owns, The Washington Post, are frequent targets of President Donald Trump. The National Enquirer is published by another Trump ally, David Pecker. On Friday, the White House distanced the president from the controversy. We're not going to get into a conversation about something between Jeff Bezos and a tabloid magazine. Regardless of how the texts were leaked, Violas says he's surprised someone as high profile as Bezos wasn't better protected. I am stunned. There is no question about it for somebody like a Mr. Bezos to be operating in such a rudimentary fashion with respect to electronic communications is shocking, to say the least. Now, Bezos' blackmail claims are now being investigated by federal prosecutors here in New York, who you remember just last year granted the Inquirer immunity in a separate investigation into hush money payments for President Trump's alleged affairs. Now, they, of course, could revoke that immunity if they do determine that the, the organization broke the law in this instance, but that's yet to be determined. It's just very messy, Errol, all the way around. And various storylines overlapping exactly. each other, too, yeah. and it's not yeah. over yet. Yeah. Yeah. Hashtag hot mess. The world yeah. still to be continued, for sure. The world's still surprised by that medium blog from last week. Yeah. Thank you, Errol.